Hello, guys. Thank you very much for joining in. Hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career. And I also help students preparing for FRM and CFA exams. So I'm back with one of my students' interview. She has been able to clear FRM level one in this May 2023 attempt. She's going to be talking about her journey, her way of preparation, what challenges she faced, and how she has been able to clear the exam. So let us have a quick chat with Swati. So first of all, Swati, thank you very much for joining in and taking out time. And just for the benefit of the audience, if you can give a brief that when you started your FRM preparation, what was the number of years of experience you had and what was the profile? Sure, sir. Thank you for having me uh, uh, in this platform. Uh, I'm Swati Rajendra. I have completed my post-graduation in MCOM accounts in uh, 2017. And I have worked in the field of finance for over seven years. Uh, my most okay. recent employment was with HDFC Bank, where I worked for four years. Okay, okay. And when did you start your FRM preparation? Which month? Uh, so I started my preparation in May 2022, uh, last okay. year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, initially I was preparing on my own, but then uh, once the once I uh, went through the syllabus, so I went deeper into the syllabus. The topics were very different than what was taught in college. So I knew okay. that uh, I had to seek uh, help from uh, external source. And okay. I went through the internet, uh, uh, like what are the classes and other things. So uh, I came across uh, intelligence, your classes, and uh, I I called you up to seek some guidance. Okay, so when before you joined us till from the day you started, which book you were reading, and how much time you were dedicating? Uh, so I was, uh, I started with uh, Fraser Notes okay. uh, and uh, I started with the book three, Financial Markets and uh, Products. And uh, I I tried to devote like two hours a day uh, initially. Okay. And when did you join us? Which month? I joined uh, uh, in uh, May. Yeah. May 22. May? For, uh, yeah. For the November attempt. Achha, okay, haha, yes. Initially, you were there for November attempt, yes. So yeah. now, when when you started your preparation, so what was the, uh, what do you say, the flow that you were, you were doing? Were you going the, with the the flow that I, we had given in the course or did you deviate it from that pattern? Um, I was going along with the flow that you had given in Excel, mm -hmm. uh, the study planner. Uh, but then, uh, since I could not devote much time to it, along with my job, it was very difficult. And uh, I fell short on time. Uh, I, I couldn't cover all the syllabus for the November attempt. So you didn't register for November. You directly said, I'll go for May. Uh, no, no. I did I did register for it. Okay. Okay. And uh, I, uh, I took the attempt. Yeah. Actually, you took the attempt. I thought you deferred the exam. That's, that was the initial no. understanding. No. Okay. Okay. So you, you could not clear. And you then again started uh, back with the preparation. So what was the major learning in the sense why you could not clear? So if you can tell us some points that you understood. Sure. So um, I think the major point was time management. Uh, okay. I I knew that I fell short on my uh, preparation. I could not cover the syllabus uh, within the stipulated time. Um, and uh, it was uh, difficult to manage along with my job. Uh, so I, uh, I decided to take a break from my job and uh, focus on study. Okay, got it. Now, when you started next time, the second attempt, was it, uh, what do you say, you started fresh, entirely fresh, and you said, okay, I'll to the preparation from so, zero again? Yeah. So I uh, started in the month of uh, March, proper full-fledged preparation. And uh, in fact, after talking to you, I got the confidence to register for the May attempt because I knew the time was short and I had not prepared much. But uh, you gave me the confidence to uh, go ahead with the May uh, registration. 
and uh, uh, since i had already covered uh, some of the syllabus uh, mm -hmm. quants and valuation methods was where i was uh, facing a lot of challenge so okay. um, you you just uh, you guided me as to how to go about with quants and uh, then i have to update you so that that way i i uh, went about right because at that point in time you were you were not working so you had full day so you can yes. give proper two months time and you can complete everything that that was yes. the approach that we were following and uh, how much time you were giving uh, from march onwards daily basis so approx i was uh, giving four hours time and uh, okay. gradually i uh, increased the time i increased my time so in that four hours you were watching the video and you were also solving the yes. question bank yes okay and you were able to complete one chapter per day yes i was able from, to. okay so you started from 1st march correct and then when when were you able to complete full reading or full watching of video again i was able to do that by april end okay uh, so two months in two months i could properly you were able to complete solving and watching of video dedicating roughly 4 hours on a single day basis now yes when we talked about uh, talk about your uh, last 15 days preparation which means uh, two weeks before the actual exam date so did you solve any mock or any sectional test how many were yes there? uh so i solved the mock uh, on 30th of april and okay. uh, from 1st of may i began the re revision and uh, an analyzed the mock and uh, worked on the areas where i felt that uh, i had to uh, practice more got it got it so that was the overall approach that you were following okay and yeah. how what was the average score you were getting in those mock papers Uh, average score was around fifty. I got fifty. Was it demotivating that point in time? It was. It was demotivating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But then I remembered uh, what you said that uh, we have to analyze it and we have to work on the weak points and we should not get demotivated. So that that really uh, helped me to conquer the. Uh, okay. Also. Okay. If I ask you. three major mistakes that you made before you went till the exam till that point if what was the three things you could have changed in your preparation uh i would say that uh, let a uh, revision uh, i i had not done it I, as i would have liked to um okay. so what i did was i was uh, focusing on quants and uh, valuation methods because i knew that uh, they were my weak subject but mm -hmm. it was very surprising for me that i got the excellent quartile in both those uh, subjects so um, okay. i would have changed my approach as to after a chapter revising and then solving the question bank immediately which i had not done uh, that okay. i would have done okay and time management was not an issue in the second time preparation so that was yes. all sorted yes. okay yes. okay now uh, if you look at the overall journey okay so uh, initially in the first part you said that time was the only factor that created a impact then you change it in the second uh, exam with respect to the time that you were dedicating what uh, when you went to the exam okay and you started solving what happened in that first one hour and how was it different from the first attempt so uh, in in the first one hour i i had already uh, uh, seen a lot of feedback from other students that the initial questions are little tough and they really test your morale in the first uh, first one hour yes so i also faced that in my first attempt as well and in my may attempt as well but then uh, i was little more prepared this time and uh, i i just uh, calm myself down and uh, i went ahead with the other questions so okay uh, as and when i could remember the concepts i would again come back to the initial questions and i, I would say 
Okay, okay. And so basically, initially, you got some difficult questions in the second attempt also. And yes. how many theory and how many calculations were there? Uh, it was more of theory. Um, I would say around 65% was theory. 65% uh, theory. 65 okay. yes. And the remaining 30, uh, when you talk about calculation, how many out of those calculation, how many were easy? And how many were difficult? Um, I found the calculations to be a little easy, not much difficult. Okay. Uh, yeah, but uh, the concept was a little confusing as to which chapter it is from. To recognize that, it took some time. Okay, and what about the theory question? Or what was the easy and difficult bifurcation? Uh, so theory questions were tough. Yeah. Like okay. uh, uh, it, it took some time to think and uh, uh, evaluate the options, like eliminate the options. So I found the theory also to be tougher than practical. Tougher than practical. And you ended up being into a situation where two options were very close, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. And what, so when you came out of the exam, what was that number in your mind? But okay, I will get 70 correct. I'll get 80 correct. What was that number? I did not have any number in my mind. But uh, definitely I could say that it was much better than my previous attempt. And uh, even my husband, he was waiting for me. So uh, okay. he could clearly tell the difference. So when I came out of my exam, he could... Uh, recognize that I felt very uh, confident about the uh, attempt. So I okay. was clear that I had done better than my number. But still, you were confident that I'll, I'll pass. You're confident, is it? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. And now, <laughs> when the results are out, what are the quartiles that you've got? Uh, I I got uh, 2121. Uh, so, 2 in uh, foundation and uh, financial products. And uh, one in quants and valuation methods. Wow, this is very good. And what was the quartile, if you remember, in the first attempt? I do, I do. Um, so the quartile for I had I got uh, two in foundation, uh, three in uh, three in financial uh, products and valuation, and uh, four in quants. And uh, the last book also four. Uh, yeah, so three in uh, financial products and uh, evaluation methods, three in both. Achha, so it's two, four, three, three. That is that was the yes. score yes. that you had got. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Drastic improvement. And so <laughs> one point, because a lot of people, when they don't clear the exam, the next step is, next thing that they feel is that I'll quit. What made you go for the second attempt? Um, I I was very sure about uh, like uh, going in this uh, going in this path. Like I I wanted to pursue FRM. Uh, that was my clear goal, and uh, I did not lose focus. I uh, I wanted to uh, clear it in the second attempt or be it anything. I I wanted to achieve this. <laughs> that is okay. What Wonderful. Now, when the results are out, what has been the reaction of people around you? Any Anybody from the office? Your connected, what has been the reaction? Um, so, uh, there, there was nobody in my immediate circle who was pursuing FRM. So, uh, it was quite a new concept for everyone. And uh, it, uh, it was a very, uh, very happy reaction <laughs> from all of them. Wonderful, wonderful. And now if I ask you, if you can give three tips from your side, from your own experience to somebody who is preparing FRM level one, what would be those three tips? Uh, I would say that uh, they should be very focused. They should be clear on why they want to do this, uh, why they want to take up this particular course. And uh, time management is very important. 
they should keep tracking uh, their progress and uh, they should make sure that they are able to complete uh, the syllabus in the in the time okay and uh, and like uh, one very important tip is that they should take care of uh, they should stay fresh throughout the preparation they should eat healthy they should sleep and uh, they should exercise and pursue other activities as well wow okay wonderful <laughs> wonderful and uh, the reason uh, this interview is also so much interesting because first of all to read again the same content is not easy it takes a lot of effort pain we we feel that it is uh, going to be a, you'll be able to easy, clear easily but to read the content again it is painful because you know i had already done i had put in so much effort right so i think so uh, anybody who's going for the second attempt uh, is required it requires a huge motivation first of all and to clear the exam and in such a good quarter definitely uh, is very very uh, very very great achievement and what i what other students who are going to watch this video they should also learn that understand your problems understand the mistake that you did and rework on it and then focus on the result like you said time management so you sorted that out next time you made sure that it is sorted you, you don't just don't go with the same problem again A lot of people do that. They give attempt again and again, and they say exam is difficult. They have not even sorted the problem which was there in the first attempt. And True. from that perspective, I think this interview is going to be very helpful for people who are preparing now for the next attempt, and they will get motivated. They will, will feel that uh, hint to go and clear the exam. So Swati, thank you very much for your time, and definitely I'm very sure you're going to clear the next level also in this coming November. And we'll have one more interview with you. for the level 2 attempt thank you sir thank you for the confidence <laughs> yes. thank you